A power of attorney can be a very powerful document in any real estate transaction, especially when you're dealing with people that are overseas and can't sign the documents or the person's incompetent or the person's in prison. That power of attorney can play a crucial role, but you have to read the power of attorney. Does the power of attorney allow for a real estate transaction and the functions of what is trying to be completed with the real estate? So you have to first do that. The second thing is making sure you bring the power of attorney to the title company so they can give it to the title insurance underwriter. The title insurance underwriter has to review it and make sure it complies and allows for the real estate transaction for insurance purposes. So also making sure that the power of attorney is an original power of attorney. The title insurance underwriter wants the original. And if a probate is involved, making sure that the power of attorney allows for a probate proceeding to occur. That is really important. And now you know a little bit more about power of attorneys. Legal disclaimer. This video does not provide legal advice, nor does it create any attorney-client relationship. The matters discussed in this video are for informational and educational purposes only.